Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> it didn't go away. Yeah, okay, away. all right. So Wendy and I haven't done this before, um, but we're coming to you live from my kitchen because we're gonna try something that we've been thinking might be kind of fun to share with you. From a technical standpoint and a sound standpoint, this is unusual for us because usually we're at the office and we have a little bit more control over the lighting and the sound and I'm sitting in that pretty gray chair and I don't move. Today we're moving around. I'm gonna be in my kitchen and I'm going to show you what my workflow is and my process. When I make a recipe that we like as a family, we wanna keep it and preserve it, and I end up making a scrapbook page in the Project Life app with the recipe, I'm gonna show you that whole process. Um, and it's really quick. When I'm doing this on my own and not trying to share it with other people live, like we're doing right now, this is like super quick. It's just, it doesn't take much longer than just actually making the food itself. So bear with us, this is experimental. Um, do we have people? We have some people. Okay, <laughs> hi mom, thanks for showing up. <laughs> All right, so also like this is a weird time of day. This is, this is um, it's four o'clock in Arizona, three o'clock California and six o'clock on the East Coast. So it's kind of an unusual time, but most of you can watch this back later. All right, so here's what I do. When I'm making a recipe, I know that if I have potential to like it or if whatever, when I, gonna, when I go through this and just in case I think I'm gonna like it, I take pictures along the way because of that purpose of making an, a page in the Project Life app, which by the way, I don't think everyone knows. So this is, this is the recipe. Go ahead and come this way, Wendy, and maybe they can see a little better. This is the, did you see that? Recipes. Family favorites. All right, this is an eight by eight album, and these are, you have to get it so there's no glare, but um, these are recipe pages that I've made with the Project Life app, and I've printed them through the app, and they are slipped into eight by eight page protectors and put in an eight by eight album. All right, you get the idea. So let me show you how this usually goes down. Um, let me give you a quick, actually come back here one more second. Can you see that? Okay, yep. without glare. Okay, so this is, just to give you an example, you can see that sometimes I actually show the process, and sometimes I'm just taking pretty pictures of ingredients and then the final. But I always have a picture of the final product. No matter what it is, that's almost always here. And I almost always use Design A in the Project Life um, app, which means that there's two four by sixes, and then four, three by fours, and then four by sixes. Now, if you are, let's back up to our original spot. If you are new to us and to what we're doing, um, my name is Becky Higgins, and what we do is Project Life. It's a physical product. It's also available in digital and app formats. And so I'm kind of tying that into what we're talking about because this little thing of making recipe pages has just become like a little hobby, something that I've enjoyed, like scrapbooking within scrapbooking. Um, and so let's dive in. By the way, Wendy's here. She's the one holding the camera. Her yes. arms are gonna start burning. <laughs> you might wanna rest them on the counter for a minute while we're here. <laughs> so be a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> so Wendy is holding the camera. She's watching your comments also. So if you want to interrupt me with a question or a comment that is relevant to what we're talking about, then um, she's gonna monitor all that. All right, so the recipe I'm gonna make is actually something that my husband learned about um, just recently. He works, he's an anesthesiologist and he works at a hospital and on New Year's Eve when he was on call, all the nurses had kind of a potluck. So this one nurse that he works with, her name is Jiminy, she brought this salad, I think. It's like a salad, it's a bunch of stuff mixed together, which you'll see. And so we're calling it the Jiminy salad. So that's what this is. And it has the most bizarre ingredients put together. Mango and peanuts and lemon and cilantro. I, yeah, this is so weird. All right, so this is what my process is. The first thing that I do is I get all the ingredients together. And if this is what I know is going into the recipe, then I take a couple pictures. And I don't overthink any of this. I don't over plan or do anything too crazy. I keep it pretty simple. So let's go over here. Now, why am I moving? The reason I'm moving is because um, light. So in my kitchen, it's that time of afternoon where it's starting to get a little bit dark. And so I've got lots of um, artificial light, but natural light is always my preference, always and forever with everything. So I'm just gonna bring everything over here. Don't move, hold on. Just move this over. All right, and I, 
I'm going to tell you the truth about something. I do not like my countertops at all. <laughs> Just going to confess that. We don't need to emphasize them. <laughs> I don't like my countertops. I think they're the most unphotogenic thing, and I think everything needs to be, you know, photogenic. But right now, it's it is what it is. And so that's one of my first little tricks and tips um, when you're doing something like this is if you don't like your own countertops, it doesn't mean that you can't do something like preserving your recipes. So you see this board here, much more photogenic, right? So I got this board at Ikea. It was cheap. You can pick something like this up at Home Depot or Target or, you know, just look at different surfaces and boards and whatever. The next thing that I do is I actually just plan to take a few pictures. Now, a few is literally what I need, three. And usually that's because I'm using design A, like I said. And again, if you want to look at this one more time. So you can see I've got ingredients and making it, and then the final product is pretty typical. Ingredients, here's another ingredient, and here's the final. And then in the middle, I usually use these cards for the actual list of ingredients and the directions and maybe a couple designer cards. Everything that I made is within the Project Life app, and all of these are from different collections. Okay, any questions so far, by the way? Um, there was a, question, a couple of questions about how do you keep your pages from slipping out, and we do have a they don't. blog post about that, don't we? You mean photos or yeah, pages? Yeah, well, she said pages, but... Okay, if you mean pages, these never fall out. It's like they don't fall out. I, I flip through this, my family and I toss this around all day long. If you're talking about photos, that's actually unrelated to app pages going into page protectors. If you're talking about with Project Life in general, if your 4 by 6 photos are slipping out, then that might be because the printer that you're using isn't printing a true 4 by 6 And if you go to BeckyHiggins.com and visit our blog, right there in the search field of the blog, you can search... What's a um, photo slipping, slipping out. out? If you just say slipping out, I think it'll pop up. Yeah, photo slipping out. And then because we've got a few tips and tricks that we've shared there for people who might be having And then that one issue. other person asked if you're going to sell your recipe pages. I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad that you've asked. Um, I've, I've thought about it, and I'm not a recipe creator. This isn't like something that I do, it's not my. Um, it's not my profession or forte or expertise, but I do like ma making recipe pages and they're always my favorites. And so that's something that we're thinking. If you like the idea of having access to something like that, um, we do in the meantime have Pinterest and Instagram where we use the hashtag. Okay, back up. On Pinterest, there's a whole board for the recipes. On Instagram, if you search hashtag BH recipes, Every single app page that I make with a recipe is posted there. You can see them all. If you want them actually like to have um, and in a book form, then I need you to give me some thumbs up, hearts, comments, likes, or something that tells me that you would actually be interested in them. Maybe we will consider something like publishing my recipe book or something. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to take some pretty pictures before Wendy's arms completely burn off. The way I do this is keeping in mind that I want like three pictures. And so one picture I think in and of itself can be the cilantro. I'm not messing with it. I'm just, yeah, go ahead and come Look in. Look at the ingredients. Yeah, for sure. And by the way, can I just back up one more second? Let me yes. just show you something. It might be hard for you to see, but this is what my window's usually like. Go ahead and back way up. This is usually what it's like. So there's enough light, in essence, to like just, you know, function and whatever. But look how much brighter it is when I open that up wide. So this is what I'm talking about, natural, indirect light. The sun's not shining on the board. It's natural light, meaning the sun is outside, and it's indirect, so I can see all that light flooding in here. All right, now come in close. All right, so I'm just putting this on here. I'm not fussing with it too much. I'm going to open up my camera. And can you actually catch what's just on my, yep. on my phone? Okay. So I'm a big fan of um, the style of being directly above. Now, you don't have to, well, actually, you probably can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so now you can see this is where I can like play around with my angle. And I like a lot of white space. I don't need to fill it like this. I kind of like seeing that there's, I even like that little piece up there. But then I just put it straight above. I don't want it to be overexposed, so I just tap on it. And I take the picture. Now I can always crop that in. So even looking at it right now, I can see that that's going to be, hold on. I need to turn the light off. Hold on. Stay where you are. Again, something that doesn't usually take much time. Yeah, I like this better. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to get straight above it. Compose the shot how I like. 
snap it, and I'm done. Okay, there's my picture. I'm liking that better. Yeah. And again, I can crop that in when I get to the point of making the page. Now I'm done. I want two more pictures. So I'm going to decide to put the rest of these. In, I'm going to leave the nuts out for a second. And I'm going to put in my mango, my apples. I've got a lemon from my tree in the backyard. That's kind of fun. Lime. And I'm just grouping them together. It doesn't matter how they look. Is that an onion? This is a red onion, lemon, lime, two apples, and a mango. Pretty. It is so pretty. And so now I'm going to take this picture. So once again, open up my camera. I'm going to go for this angle. Good job, Wendy. Look at you with your photo work. I'm going to position it. This is a it. workout. This is. I'm on my tippy toes. I, okay. <laughs> I can't shake because I'm, all right, I'm laughing. One, two, three. I don't usually count for the fruit. <laughs> the ingredients don't need to count up. I know. All right, so there's that picture. All right, and then I have my other one as well. That's pretty. That is pretty. And then the lighting is consistent. Now, the last picture I want to take, I did the cilantro. And I did this stuff. Can you just explain your uh, bruise? Oh, are people just, asking? They oh. haven't, but I think oh. they might. Oh, because <laughs> it's really ugly. I should have worn long sleeves. I just had a colonoscopy last week, and I always have a hard time with IVs, and that was a hard one to get, and so that's what the bruise is. Okay. Sorry, that's, that's all. Yeah, no, no one's hitting me at home. <laughs> no, <I'm hurting> you. <laughs> okay, now this one, I, I haven't thought about this ahead of time, but I'm about ready to pour some peanuts on here, and I'm like, that's kind of fun showing that it's actually coming out of the jar. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to let it just sit there. So see how I'm a, not a pro photographer, I'm not a food photographer, but just see how something as simple as that is just so easy. So again, I'm going to take that picture like this and snappity snap. That's it. Okay, so here we go. All of my pictures are taken. Now I'm going to actually make the recipe. And I have decided with this one that I don't need to um, take pictures of the process because you know why? Let me turn my light back on. Go ahead and go back to that same spot, Wendy, where we started, because I'm going to go right here. Um, this recipe does not call, um, call for anything crazy with the process. It's literally like everything is just chopped, um, and that's the whole point. So everything gets chopped. In fact, I'm not even going to take time to do it. Would you guys want to know how to make this? Because it's really everything's just chopped. Tell me right now if I should stay on live or if I should just cut to the chase and be done. When do you tell me now? Okay, no comments. I, I'm voting for let's cut the cheese. Okay, why? Your arm's burning? Well, I get, I'm getting thumbs up, but I don't know what it's on. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. let me show you one thing. I know how to like meet in the middle here. What I'm going to do is show you with this. Keep um, going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to show you on this what I have learned as far as um, how finely to chop this. Isn't there a seed in mango? I haven't made this myself. David I, made I, it. Once. You know what? I've never. Isn't there a seed? I have oh. never prepared a mango. Well, today's the day to learn. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't want is to cut my finger on live Facebook. Yeah, there's definitely a core or something here. All I need to do is show you a chunk. Some people are saying cut the chase. They want to see the end before bedtime. <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't want to just hang out with me for an hour making something? Okay, come around here, Wendy. Let me show you one little thing. Just for the sake of this specific recipe, this is what I learned um, for how finely chopped everything is. Okay? So everything is just finely chopped. That way, this is not a cooking show. So I'm not caring about how pretty this looks or doesn't look. That is a great chopper though. Yes. And everything is just really small and little. Okay. Doesn't matter how pretty it is. Whatever. Okay. So this texture and all these little pieces is how you chop this, the apple, the red onion. You chop it, chop on this really fine. And then at the end you squeeze and squeeze some juice on it and then you add peanuts. And I got to say about the peanuts, that is so weird. And <laughs> when my husband made this, I was like, that's interesting, but I'll give it a try. I was obsessed, like obsessed, had like four helpings of this last night because there's no dressing. It's healthy. I mean, maybe I could have worked on my portion control, maybe, <laughs> but it's so good. Okay. So let me show you the finished project. Okay. Someone's saying you need to take the skin off the mango. No. Sorry, that was so defensive, sorry. <laughs> no, you don't take the skin off the mango. 
Not Isn't that weird? Recipe. Not with this recipe. Yes, you do in some cases, but I don't use mango a whole lot, but David's like, no, no, you leave it on because that's how Gemini made it. And we listen to Gemini. We named the salad after her. Okay, stay where you are. Let me just grab the... I'm just showing your beautiful fridge and oh. your wallpaper and your stuff. <laughs> All right, so this is the leftovers of last night. So I'm going to show you what the texture looks like. <laughs> You're doing such a good job. Okay, here it is. This is, can you see it from a light? Come over here where the light is a little better. Okay. This is everything chopped and mixed and added together. It is so delicious. The peanuts you do not add until right before serving because they'll get soggy. Okay. okay, so here's how we're going to wrap up. Oh, a, yeah. a, re a recap on why she doesn't think you should add the skin is some people are allergic to the skin oh. and it causes some sort of reaction like poison ivy. Okay, so if you are feeding this to someone who is allergic, then peel the skin. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good point. Um, that's a good point. I did not know that. Um, we do not have such allergies in my home. So for us and for probably most people making this, you're okay to leave the skin on. But that's a good point and that's why you brought it up. Now. Come on over here. This is where I'm going to show you how I actually put this page together. Now, Wendy, the tricky part is going to be you getting this without the glare. Wendy and I are going to play, what's that game? Um, uh, oh, we, Twister? Twister. <laughs> you should see how awkward we are right now. We're awkward. Okay, hold on. What if I place it down? I was going to say Inception, but <laughs> Inception. Okay, we need to switch places. Hold on. All right, here's the project like that. Give us a second. Hold on. Yeah, that might work. Okay. What I do to make this page, I can show you really quick, is it, when, I, when I bring this up and it brings up the page template, I then tap on any square and I tap on the photo and this is going to pull up any of these places. I'm pulling up my camera roll and I'm going to tap on the pictures that I want. Um, so I've added that one. Let me, by the way, I'm going to tap up here and I'm going to tap here to square my corners because I always do. See, they're squared. There's rounded. Back to square. Okay, I've added that picture and I'm going to add my other one. I'm going to tap over here and add my other one. And that needs to be rotated. And you can only do that in and iOS at this moment. Yes, because it's not available yet for um, Android, right. right? Okay, so you guys getting this? Do you need to come in closer? Are you okay? How are your arms feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm on my tippy toes too, so my calves are. But go down, go down. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so good. All right. So this is where then, of course, you can zoom, you can crop, you can you kind of do all the things that you do with Project Life, right? Then up here, I'm going to add a card. So I tap on the card instead of the photo. I am not going to overthink which cards I'm using, but I'm going to pick any sort of collection. I'm going to pick a title card. Let's say it is. Um, this one and then I'm going to go down here to the three by four. I know that I'm going to be adding my ingredients So I need a blank a blank card. So I'll do um, this one and maybe I'll do Love because I love it and then this one I'm just filling the spaces. Which one do I have left? And then over here. Okay, so you get the idea now what I do at this point is is I then decide, do I want to rearrange something? I move it, I tap on here, I add my title, and I'm gonna say, Jiminy Salad, and it's too big, that's why it's not showing up. There we go. So Jiminy Salad, see I X that up. And then right here, I'm gonna type my ingredients. And I am not gonna type these out right now while we're um, live, because you really are gonna get so bored, but let me just show you how to use Siri. Ingredients, see how that just pops up. And then I add my stuff, and I add my how to do it, and then my page is done. All right, so that's it. That's like how you do it. Um, this might be the shortest Facebook Live broadcast we've ever done, because we, we should just wrap up, because this was so simple. But that's my process for taking pictures while I make something, and then quickly doing it in the app. I usually do it that day, right there on the spot while I'm waiting for something to bake in the oven, or even just that night when I'm laying in bed and you know on my phone for five minutes. That's it. Red onion diced or sliced, and it's diced. Right? Everything's diced. Everything's diced very small, and I will publish this post, or I will publish the page. I will post the page. <laughs> <laughs> it's after work hours, you guys. My brain doesn't work anymore. I'm going to publish. I'm gonna finish this page, not live with you, because you'll be bored. 
I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish that. I'm going to publish it so that you guys can see it. So again, hashtag BH recipes. Any other questions? We're good. Okay. Thank you for watching. We're going to jump back on Facebook live in like 10 minutes to do a totally separate topic. I might even change my shirt just to make it a different broadcast that you can watch. And I'm going to show you seven ways or seven things that you can do with your Christmas cards after the holidays are over. Like, what do you do with them? I have seven ideas to share with you. So I'll see you then. Bye guys. Peace out. Peace out. Finish.